because I know where you are. And it does suck, and it does hurt, and it does make you want to say, fuck all of this, excuse my French, <laughs> but it happens. But, and I, I, I don't even think I need that, other than the price tag to lose, because I'm just going to tell you this, I'm, just, I'm still going to put you up for the price tag. But the main thing is, it's important what you said, because you got to get comfortable being in that space. And it's an uncomfortable space to be. But until you are in position and you're believing in yourself, even when you don't even see the light at the end of the tunnel, there's no way the universe can take all that and you not withdraw later. You are paying and you're sowing seed. You're investing. And then guess what? The sad part is that investing don't stop now. However, once you see the return, as long as you get returns on it, you're going to find yourself in a space where you won't feel right unless you're invested. Because you're always going to be hungry for more. Even here where I stand, I get frustrated. So you know, I'm like, you talk about what you did. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, but I want to learn this and I want more. And the mm -hmm. beast come out. Because I'm just hungry. Yeah. And that hunger is what's going to keep you in the fight. Because people are going to be coming for your spot. They come for mine every day. Mm. But baby, ain't nobody got what I got. They ain't holding what I'm holding. So I'm, I'm good over here. But the moment if I keep, this, if I stop investing in myself and believing in myself, I didn't give up. I didn't gave them the throne. They deserve it. So I know exactly what you feel. I know exactly where you are. And I definitely want to encourage you to just keep it. I know you probably don't want to hear it. Because I know I ain't want to hear it when I was in there. So I was like, look, go ahead, girl. But keep fight and keep going. I was reading something the other day. I didn't even want to remember what it was. I told you I was brain for a little bit. But it was about farming. When you're in sales, you gotta learn to be a farm. Mm. And I just started planting, doing farming probably uh, two years ago, creating my little garden. I, I'm, I get excited about it every year, around this time. And I had to learn, and it's, this is real true, because in the beginning, you know, I'm, you know, I'm antsy, I'm a kid again. I'm, I'm a kid, I'm living like, like a kid. I got there every morning. Dang, I'm coming up here. Oh, I go back in there like, go, go look at my seeds again. Ain't nothing coming up yet. And I, I did this, right? I even had a consultation with a garden. Like, look, I put, I watered every day. I talked to it. I do all this stuff. I went back on seeds. So they just told me about the whole patience thing and just being sowing until the time to harvest. And I'm like, all right. And my first year, I didn't bear any fruit or anything. I got leaves, but no fruit. The next year, clearly everything died out. But the next year, baby, when I tell you it was such a harvest, I, I was giving stuff away to my, and it's the same garden. I was the same soil. I was giving stuff away to my neighbors. It was, it was abundance because I learned to not be impatient. I learned to just sow my seeds and let them do what they do. Still nurture them, still water them. Don't complain. I still was like looking at them like, okay, get up. <laughs> but they didn't come up. But with patience, when it came, it was too much to not say. Mm -hmm. I had to give it away. Now, that's, I don't complain about, I told I told people every time I went live, I said, I don't care if there's three or four people in my class. We gonna rock out like that sucker sold out. I'm not impatient. I'm so seeds this year. I'm just coming back. I'm so seeds. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna enjoy every moment of it. That's Cause right. I'm gonna see all of you guys part. That's what it's all about. So it's going to be tough. So you see, guys, don't don't worry about when it's coming. Just know it's coming. Know it's coming. I no longer worry about things. I was like, you know what? All right, this may be just another quarter. I'm like, all right, just do the work. Mm. Because when it comes, baby, it comes. I'm like, oh lord, oh bless you, Lord. I'm home. <laughs> let me get my let me get my seatbelt because the ride be crazy. And they say, be careful what you ask for. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. But I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs>